Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm attempting to make my flick and spin again. If you saw my video recently where I did the flick and spin it was beautiful but I got a moth landed in it and ruined it. So I've got the same colours here again today but I've got a different shape canvas so this is a 14 by 14 inch and I'm going to try this really long swipe tool palette knife which I haven't used before. So I thought I might get a really wide background swipe um, and then flicking on the top. I also thought I might have a go at flicking with this. I've got some Prussian phthalo blue for some contrast colour and some Amsterdam titanium white in my swipe mix. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got my British paints uh, Clean and Protect Walls in Low Sheen. Um, I'm going to pour that directly onto the canvas. Now a few of you asked me whether I mix anything with it and I don't. I just pour it straight out of the tin. So let's put that on first. Probably need a little bit there. And just even out the thickness a little bit. Okay, that is my base. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna actually do identical colours to last time because it looked so pretty. So I've got some, I've made up a little bit extra. This is the sky blue. And I can go quite wide with this because I've got that wide palette knife. So that's going to be very interesting. I know it spreads out a lot too. So look at the size of this thing. The silver turned out quite interesting as well last time. So, when you're trying to recreate a piece it's, with acrylic pouring, it's very difficult to get exactly the same thing. So what I've done here is I've just changed things up a little bit because if I try and get something exactly the same, I'll probably just be disappointed. So I want to make something kind of the same but different. And we'll see what happens. One thing about this technique that I've um, been doing is that um, I seem to be getting a reasonably consistent result, particularly with my swipe. Um, obviously I've only done the flick and spin once, so <laughs> I don't know what kind of result I'm gonna get with that. That's probably more of the, um, the unknown Let's get some of this light blue through. So yeah, different shape canvas. Square is going to be diff interesting because I don't want to put my flick right in the center this time. I want to put it off center. I think putting it in the center would be a bit weird on a square canvas. What do you reckon? Uh, a little bit more sage green. And a little bit more deep green. We have more of the blues on top. Start with that. I made up a fresh batch of swipe mix. So I'll pour that on, I guess. It's just quite it's long and narrow. Don't know how it's gonna go. Oh, 
Oh. Very drippy. Is that enough on there now? I don't know. Alright, let's give it a whirl. Here we go. go very quiet when I'm swiping. So much concentration. Gorgeous. So I'm probably going to flick from here. Mm -hmm. Better be careful. This is already trying to come to the edge. I think we'll just move that so that it doesn't. So I don't want it stretching out yet. I might have this. Okay. I think we'd better get a wriggle on. Put that swipe mix out of the way and I'm going to pour on my colours. I don't know whether to go like a bigger, a little bit bigger this time. silver I'm just trying to remember the order so that was bright blue and silver then the Prussian phalo blue and celadon I actually think I made a mistake in the bottom colors but anyway that's okay the celadon and then the champagne gold and it shone very pretty. So sparkly in the last one. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a glove on. I'm worried I've gone too far to the side, but I can flick it that way. And get a stick ready. Here we go. Hopefully I'm not as nervous this time. I will torch though. So pop any bubbles. Alright, here we go. I don't want to be gentle to start with. Nice. A bit of a spiral there. Okay, it's a little different. to try this. Should we just give it a little go? Ooh. Did that, what did that do? It picked up paint. I don't even know where from. All right, let's try it again. I'm splattering it all up here. Not sure about that. Oh yeah, that's different. 
Where's my Got one of these? I think I need, I don't want to lose this spiral or that one. I have lost a little bit of that, but I want to take a bit out of here. Trying to grab it from underneath so that I don't muck up the edges. I need it to come off here. This is fine because that I can put white on there. But I need this colour to come off here. So I'm going to grab a bit from underneath, wet the edges. Might even grab a bit from the bottom here. So that when I do spin it, I'm just going to tilt it a bit that way. Um, it should tilt that way. And I'm just going to add, where's my white? Just grabbing some bits of white where I can. Do that. All right, let's give it another spin. All right, edges are looking good, beautiful. Okay, this is not sure about that. Tiny little slice. All right, I need to get this flat because it's not flat up here before it starts ruining my edges and um, I'll bring you in for the wet result okay here is the wet result so I did flick a lot more this time um, because I had a bigger puddle so there's a lot more going on 
got some really good spirals here and there's one hiding underneath here the lacing is mostly on this side silver it's very soft through there this spiral is pretty cool <laughs> and the blends are good I still think I probably like the other one better um, but this is good and it's quite similar um, be warned if you're doing this technique that uh, it makes a mess and I actually got some on my blinds which I've just been trying to get off um, yeah not good but uh, I'll bring you back when it's dry hopefully moth free all right here we go that should keep the moths off okay here is the dry result I'll bring you in closer Got a nice blend through here. A couple of nice spirals. This one's fairly straight going up through here. And then I've got this spiral underneath. And a nice lacing in the background here. Um, I don't think the lacing's quite as good on this one. I really like this spiral through here. But some of the splatters I would rather tidy up or something which maybe i could have done a bit more of that while it was wet i did take a little bit out but i could probably do more of that but it did end up quite similar to the other one which i'll just grab so here's the other one I'll it this way. Um, which i i still like this one a lot better i think the design's a bit more simple um and the oh, I really love this lacing through here. It's a lot bigger than the lacings on this one. Um, I did have a little bit of a go at sanding the moth out, like a lot of you suggested. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, I'll uh, link it in the card up here. Um, yeah, so I had a go at sanding it, but um, it's a bit lumpy and I thought I don't know if painting it's even gonna work so I might still have a go at painting that out but it's probably still gonna feel like a bit of a lump and I don't know I'm not gonna be able to get the blend of the paint colors the same so hmm not sure but it's good to know that I can get a very similar result with this technique using the same colors and uh, yeah technique so that's good so that's it for this one guys I uh, hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you all in the next one bye